what's going on YouTube? Um, yeah, so today I think I'm going to go uh, kind of get an idea of what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to start a track bike build, uh, my 2001 Ninja ZX-6R. It's not going to be really so much a build, but doing some maintenance that needs to happen to it because uh, I seem to have blown my fork seals and yeah, they're leaking all over. So I'm going to get them replaced and I'm going to get some new tires installed on it. Yeah, so we're just out here in the garage now. It's winter time still, so it's a little chilly out here. I'm going to have to warm it up. But uh, yeah, the garage is currently definitely a mess. I definitely need to, you know, get the bikes all organized. And uh, there's the Ninja over there, the green one. That's what we're gonna be working on. But I need to move it right here so I can uh, have lots of space to work on it. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have to get the garage reorganized and go from there. So we'll uh, start working on that. Um, yeah, yeah, so here's the Ninja. Uh, it's a 2001 ZX6R. Uh, it's got like 8,500, or not 8,500, 85,000 kilometers on it somewhere in there anyway i can't remember the exact od what i'm reading but uh as you can tell on the front of my bike here i was out doing some wheelie practice one night and uh i blew my fork seals so i wanted to get out for one more ride that that weekend so i'm like well i'll just put a couple rags on it and uh we'll uh make some fork seal diapers it worked i was able to ride around for another day but yeah the socks the shocks are definitely not performing very well anymore so yeah this is going to be the track bike for this season i've kept it for a reason uh, it's no longer insured or on the road so i'm gonna gonna get the fork seals replaced and uh we'll get some new rubber put on it and uh i'm thinking that maybe i will remove some of the lighting like the turn signals on the rear and the turn signals on the front and um, for this season, I'll probably just I'll probably just keep the headlight in and tape it out. We'll remove the mirrors as well. You know, just simple kind of things that you need for the to do on the track. Um, yeah, I wanted to maybe get new fairings for it, but for the year of the bike and you know the engine being questionable, how long it's going to last, I don't think I'm going to sink a lot of money into it. So I'll just do the bare minimum that I need for the track. You know, so taping out the headlights and I'll just remove the things that aren't needed on the track, like the mirrors and, as I said, the turn signals and the turn signals out the rear. So, yeah, so I'm going to start by getting this uh, very messy garage of motorcycles and electrician tools and stuff out of the way. And, uh, yeah, we'll start with that. Just back out in the garage here, I'm going to move the bikes around. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of an adventure. Uh, I don't want to go outside because it's too damn cold, so I gotta try and shuffle them around in this space right here. I don't know if you can really see it, but I moved the car, so hopefully I can uh, get them all moved around. Uh, I think I'll just make a quick little time lapse of it, and uh, I'll get the Ninja over to where I want it to be, so I can start dismantling it and coming up with an idea of how to actually lift the damn thing off the ground, because I don't have a jack or a motorcycle stand. Like, like I have no way to lift the front end up. Um, so we'll have to figure that out eventually. I have some ideas of how I'm going to do that. So yeah, I'm just, uh, going to figure out how to move these bikes around. Step one, wake up early, gonna rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you want to be. Step four, fuck everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's going to be a good day. Wake up, today's going to be a good day. Wake up, today's going to be a good day. Got the garage all moved around. I got the ninja in the spot where I'll have a little bit more room. I'll move those boxes over there eventually. I'm gonna have to get them to the dump. I just haven't had time to do it lately. Got all the other bikes over there hiding away for the for the springtime to come. Can't wait to get back out on. There'll be lots of content that I'm gonna be making on these too. So yeah, I got lots of ideas for all the different bikes and it's it's gonna be a fun season. But primary focus is getting this beast ready for the track. Um yeah. It's a, it's a fun little bike and it's old and it's got lots of life left in it. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this on the track. I, I don't like the idea of taking one of my good bikes on the track. So that's why I'm having something that's a little bit older. And if anything happens to it, it doesn't matter. If I destroy one of my good bikes on the track, I can't get the insurance payout for it because I took it on the track. And with this bike, if anything happens to it, then 
I mean, there's really no loss. Um, so yeah, so the, the biggest, the biggest issue that I'm facing is I'm going to have to find some way to lift the bike up on the front end. I don't have a front stand that goes in the, in the bottom of the triple tree. Um, so I was thinking that I might use an A-frame ladder and use some uh, ratchet straps to lift the bike up. And then that way I can get the front tire off the ground so I can remove the forks and uh, go take them in to get the fork seals replaced. Um, I don't have the tools or anything to do that type of stuff myself, so I have to send them out to a shop to get them done. But I'm gonna make a video of me taking them off and show that process about them and putting them back on. Um, yeah, so that's that's the big question. How am I lifting the front end of the bike up? I think the A-frame ladder might work pretty well. Um, if not, I do have a buddy that might have access to one of the triple tree um, mount so you put underneath and then that'll allow me to be able to still get the forks off i think um so we'll sort that out in the coming days and uh we got the garage all sorted around for now and yeah so i just wanted to do a little introduction on what i'm going to be doing and what this video is going to be about um you know we're gonna start working on this we'll get some new tires for it and uh yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun uh i like working on the bikes it, you know, it's a good hobby. It gives me something to do in the winter time too. All my buddies decided to do do a bunch of drawings and the dust on it because it's been sitting for a while. <laughs> but yeah, so.